Welcome back to Soda City Live. Maybe you have a band and a few songs that you've been working on that you're ready to test in front of a crowd. Well, today we're getting to know a local duo, Sam and Ilya, who host the open jam and band open mic at New Brooklyn Tavern. And you never know, you may come out to get a bit, come out and get bit by the performance bug. And Sam Bryant and Ilya Dia, she, they join us today to tell us more about this opportunity. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having Thanks us. Thanks for having us. It's such a pleasure. You are not new to this. You've been doing this for a little over a year. Talk about cool. how this idea came about. Sure. Um, well, so it started out, um, we used to play at this restaurant in downtown and we used to play as a duo because we have a duo just called Sam and Ilya. Um, and then we got shifted to Mondays, but we thought it'd be kind of a fun way to you know, change it to do an open mic kind of thing. And then we kind of realized that there was, there's definitely like plenty of open mics in town where, yeah. you know, solos or duos can hop up and play some songs, but there's not really that kind of opportunity for bands. Yeah. And so we tried kind of changing it more into um, like a band open mic or like an open jam session with yeah. the house band and like backline amps and drums and stuff. And since then, it's been going great. It's been building a community around it. So mm -hmm. it's been a lot of fun for sure. I love that. And I would love to get the backstory on how the two of you met. So talk a little bit about that. Um, well, we were both teachers at the same studio in Lexington. And Sam had just moved to Columbia after going to Clemson. And then you came over to my studio or my classroom and you said, hey, I really want to play in a duo. And I was like, well, that sounds good to me. I would like to play some more gigs, make some more money. And we've been doing that for like two years now. Yeah, about two years. So yeah. Let's talk about what it is you two do as a duo. So are you like the the vocalist? Or are you like a perform? Like what do you what do you do? I am mostly a vocalist. Mostly vocalist. Um, in the duo, that's what I do. Uh, vocals, hand percussions, like a tambourine. Okay, yeah. Um, but then Sam has the really difficult job of yes. being kind of our band in the yeah, duo. Yeah, sure. One man band. Yeah. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so I play a. Uh, like I only am ever really playing a like a Martin D18 acoustic guitar. Yeah. Um, but what I can do with it is like hit it, the acoustic guitar in certain spots mm -hmm. to make a sound like a kick drum or like a snare yeah. drum, and I have this like effects pedal to drop it down an octave. Oh. And so I, I like with this other pedal, like this live looping pedal, um, I can kind of record myself playing certain things and have it play it back. Um, so I can play you know, yeah. to a drummer and to a yeah. bassist while it's all just me recording those yeah, parts. Like a on foot switchboard type situation. Exactly, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Well, let's talk a little bit more about this jam session now. Typically, when I think of like a jam session situation, I think of like one band and multiple people just like doing their thing. So how explain how that dynamic works in an open mic, like in an open setting. Sure. So. Um, how we have it set up, it's there's a house drummer, there's a house guitarist, myself, and there's a house bassist and vocalist, Ilya. Um, she also plays bass, very multi-talented. Okay, right here. you omitted uh, that fact. It's, yeah. <laughs> well, I don't do it in the duo, so. <laughs> yeah, not in the duo, but the duo. she does it. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, um, but so that's that's kind of the basis of it. So we have yeah. the house band that is, you know, I, you know I'd like to think that we're pretty versatile so we can yeah. ca catch up with people, whatever kind of genre they want to play, whether it's pop, soul, rock, punk, grunge mm. like it, it's just a huge variety of different yeah. genres um, so if somebody you know like half half of that event is for people that show up with their guitar and they're like i just want to meet people to show play music with mm -hmm. and so we like you know they get up on stage after signing up and i'm always like what do you need from us and they're yeah. like well i've I met this other bassist you know yeah. who wants to play a nirvana song yeah and i met this other person who wants to sing the song and those lyrics so all we really need from you guys is you know a drummer yeah so like all right oh, braid in our drummer, drummer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah exactly i love that so we ask our drummer okay you know you gotta you gotta stay on stage for the next 12 minutes and <laughs> just try to follow along with whatever they're yeah. playing um and it usually goes pretty well it's a lot of fun mm -hmm. you know I really, so. I really love this concept because I, I don't know if many people understand the concept of a band. Sometimes your drummer gets sick or sometimes your yes. drummer is booked for another gig and now oh you're yeah. like, hey, we have this awesome opportunity, but we need someone to kind of fill in. This is a great way to network with other exactly. performers in the yes. area exactly. to kind of fill that hole as needed. You're not sure. trying to replace your, your current members. Maybe you are. <laughs> but this is this is a great opportunity to do that. So, um, is there like a sign up process when they come in? Do they sign up in advance? What is that process like? Yes. So basically, we just have like a QR code. You scan it. Um, you put down what you want to play, what instrument you play. If you have your own band or if you want to play with the house band, um, and then yeah, you get up on stage. You tell us what you need from us, and we make it happen. Sometimes we know the song, sometimes we don't. Just <laughs> hey, as long as we you roll sound good, we can play it off. And it also shows that you're able to think on your toes. 
Exactly. It's a great, yeah. I love that. It's, it's, it's pressure, but no pressure. Exactly. I love it. Well, how can our viewers get in touch with you if they would like to be a part of this? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I guess the easiest way would be our Instagram. It's just at Sam and I-L-L-I-A. Um, they can message us. Um, we also post about our podcast on there, and oh, we also podcast. post yeah. about our own <laughs> gigs and we, our events that we play and all that kind of stuff. Um, but probably that's the easiest way. It's, I think it's the same for Facebook. It's just facebook.com slash Sam and Ilya. So. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Well, we're going to fold those details up. Thank you both so much for joining Absolutely. us today. Our pleasure. If you would like to be a part of this open band, open mic night at New Brooklyn Tavern, take a look at your screen right there. It's every Monday night at 7 p.m. And it is free and for all ages. Wow, it's exactly. all ages. Oh, yeah. So if you have a toddler with some sick vocals, <laughs> Absolutely. This, is, this is the time to get them. The first baby lit band. Um, if they have the skills, they are open to be a part of this as well. And again, this is at New Brooklyn Tavern at their newest location. That is at on Harvard Street. The details are right there on your screen. Again, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. We'll be sure to have these details on our website, SodaCityLive.com, and on our Facebook page. Stick with us. We have much more coming up after this.